Okay. W split. There you are. And we are off. So Shanpyu opens a titanium racer here. Paratroopa is the obsidian, I'm pretty sure. I hope I did that right. Yes, okay, that is correct. So this is Shanpyu Wolf trying to promote into obsidian. Paratroopa trying to hold his place in obsidian. Who's, who's your pick, TTF? TTF is stunned what? into silence and unable to make a projection. What? I didn't hear you <laughs> Oh, sorry. It. I was asking uh, your projection. <laughs> I haven't really watched Oh, uh, I would like to see a bunch, seen a bunch of defenses. That's true. See it swing the other way. Yeah. Paratroop is my boy, but I think I agree. One thing is that Paratroopa went a direction that let him see a, uh, what is that shrine called? Pain? Pain shrine? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did not end up taking it. I sort of wonder about that. Uh, it's a very good shrine. Could, especially on 1-3, get him most of the way to a build. Uh, and they don't really have all that much right now. I think I would have spent a little bit of time there. Uh, although I don't remember if there were any, I mean, you really want a white skeleton. Um, I don't think there was one hanging out there. Throw your dagger, paratroopa. Throw your dagger. Yeah, it's a huge time save to do that instead of going all the way around here. It looks like Sean got a titanium spear. If you're watching, I would totally check purple. And that's a not a great weapon. Oh, dragon fight though. Should be alright. Take that, uh, boss shrine though. Oh, there you go. There you go. Paratrippy, you have a bomb. What? What? Wow. Well. We have... That's more defensive, I think. And there is a uh... ring of peace. It's a ring of peace. Oh, now that sucks. <laughs> now you really wanted that uh, city in uh, right here. But no. Do you? But like, that's something you can't plan for, though, right? <laughs> I need to give Paratroopa a. Um, I'm gonna give him a little gift. <laughs> give me just a second. I mean, like. The way Paratrooper handled that is like you gotta work with what you see now. I mean, there's no knowing that oh, there's a piece of this chest coming a little bit. And I kind of like that Paratrooper stayed on their original ring piercing. This is. This might be really large. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh, it's way too big. <laughs> way too big. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> this is gonna take a second, sorry. It's gonna get cut down to size. A little bit smaller, I think. Paratroopa, this is your crown. <laughs> this is what you have wrought. Anyway, there's a race going on. Yeah, it looks relatively close to each other here. I think they're on the same floor, right? Yes. I can read numbers. That's a torch of strength. Uh, it looks like Paratrooper did not find it. Uh, he does not really need it because he already has three damage out of the uh, boss shrine. But four is better than three. 
Actually, is that true? I mean, he he hasn't faced. Did they already fight uh, Death Metal? If they already fought Death Metal, I think four is definitely better than three. If they did not, I'm not so sure. Oh my God, these clappers! Why? Okay. I would almost think about using my fireball because I dislike them. <laughs> did it get really framey? It just caused that different type of panic than like everything else does. <laughs> oh, I would have gotten screwed if I had used my fireball scroll, as I would have been tempted to do. Pero got a very nice coral rift quick kill. And rocketed into the lead. You know what? Build he could be one half of the way toward is a rocket. <laughs> And that's also why, children, you should take your scrolls. Scrolls are good. Especially when you don't have bombs. You can sometimes find bombs in zone four. A little secret Ooh. room, but it's not as reliable as... There's no way you find two. that potion on paratrooper side without getting that monocle. Oh, you're right. It would have just looked like a normal set of walls. That was pretty clutch. I like that the monocle does give you a little bit of pseudo mapping too. Oh, this is bad. This is death. Nope, not death. Quartz armor. Thank you, quartz oh, armor. Oh, oh dear. Hmm. Paratrooper. Thank you, potion. But but paratrooper. Cat's a good weapon. Do you know what else is a good weapon? Looks like both the racers did find uh, bombs in zone 4 too, so that's helpful. That is. I am glad to see racers on equal bomb footing. That said, I'm a little mad at Paratrooper again. <laughs> it's gonna need two of those uh, gifts, one on each side. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I think you can only earn one thinking emoji gif per race. <laughs> I mean, also that mummy. Did you see that on paratrooper side? Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, paratrooper killed a. Or sorry, Sean killed a um, what are they even called? Wind mage that was dying on a spike trap. And Sean's down. Yeah, Sean looked a little scared there in that exit room, getting really pushed back. Then uh, still got swarmed. Yeah, the death was. I mean, the death was just a misbeat. It was, uh, you know, there's a black bat. I did not move out of the way of that black bat. It's an unfortunate way to go. I Those kind of deaths, actually, I think, stick with you worse than most. Um, I had a death in a very early tournament that was similar, that's still sort of the most, like, oh, man, like, I really shouldn't have taken that one. And this is now paratroopers to lose. His potion is gone. He still has quartz armor, so he can take at least four hits. Uh, depending on whether he finds food. It's getting good mileage out of that Dove Charm. Definitely take that shop. Uh, or don't take the shop. I mean, whatever you want to do, man. <laughs> oh, 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 oof. Uh, that, that was a room. It's interesting how the electric balls don't get frozen or just bleeded. Mm hmm. This is not exactly how you lure, but I think you, it's fine because now you go kill the things. Although now you're in. Uh, something's happening. <laughs> There's dead ringer fight. That's not going to be enough, <laughs> is it? Nope. Okay, it is. Yes, that that is the dead ringer fight. We, we saw somebody beat the dead ringer fight. <laughs> Um, 
Um, Dorian? I uh, didn't use the blood shovel for the free hit, though. Yeah, which is kind of silly because it, it's not, I mean, it'll save you from, like, one white skelly hit, but otherwise your quartz is only going to give you two, or it's only going to give you two hits anyway. And that is it. Paratrooper cleaning that up. I am not going to take away his thinking emoji. <laughs> he deserves Crossing that. over into the... I mean, that could have been a total, like, you know, he won. Sean died. Paratrooper was ahead when Sean died. Um, that was a huge, I mean, that was like a minute. Para, there is an Obsidian Reaper out of the boss shrine. You took Ring of Piercing instead. With a Titanium Spear. Oh yeah, don't forget to loot them. It was the right side item on the boss shrine. The piercing ring was the middle item. Bookworm, you should ask Pyrrha why there is a thonk spin. You probably can't ask him because he's about to race. But he knows. Yes, but true, Give him that loot. Thank you. You are right. Thank you, DNH. One of the things that makes it hard to start the timer for me is watching the race room because I want to start it when it actually oh, says okay. go, right? Um, but Sometimes that's, having too much power can be a bad thing. It's true. With, with great power brings... I don't know how the, how the quote ends. <laughs> this is a glass whip seed. Yeah, that's exciting. It's what pretty much every racer hopes for. <laughs> Glass whip bring a mite. It's a hard build to improve upon, and so I think we'll see these guys just going. It makes it, I mean, you definitely take it. Uh, it's four damage. Oh, that's a dragon in a bad position. <laughs> yeah, of course you take glass whip over base dagger. I think it's early too. You keep glass. Fine. That's as as Arborelia says. You can upgrade it into a dagger anytime you want. That may not be at a convenient time. Okay, and so we have a Titanium Spear versus a Gold Warhammer. Uh, no piercing, but plus one damage. I don't know. What do you prefer here? I will jump in and say I prefer not being dead. Oh, dear. Yeah, apparently the thing out of destroyed there. I... I think I take the spear. I'm not that sure about it. I think if my, okay, I think if my plus one damage were not Ring of Might, like if it was a boss, what is it friggin' called? Strength Charm. Uh, then I think I might have a different opinion, but I don't know. Just because Courage Gold Warhammer is actually pretty nice. If you have damage. Unless you're running the somewhere. tar, like the pretty strips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we have another death. Sean going down to a Banshee. 
with the gold cat. I am not sure what happened, but he died. Sean switched to the gold cat right before going down to uh, the mosh pits. I'm assuming they just weren't used to the set. That's um, my guess, too. Either. Also, we've seen these guys fight this arena four times now. And okay. they've both taken heal spell in both cases. And I really wonder... Uh, heal spell's very good. I like heal spell a lot. I also like mapping. And I think I would think... Oh, there's a blood rapier. With that plus one damage, para. Para. My dude. Yeah, I think you switched that for sure. Take that. And that's a really good switch. Pain is nice, though, I gotta say. Pain that, um... Sean found in the lock shop. Especially if he's going to get that cat. And it does seem like that's sort of the yeah. best weapon he saw. Although that blood rapier, if he found cat that... Ring of Pain is, uh, yeah, one of the best combos in the game. But... Did Para. switch off with with uh, that blood shop. I like that switch out too, just because it's looks are awkward. Yeah. Now para shopping on two one, and then you know returning that question of when you have a lead, how do you spend your time? I'm going to suggest that shopping on two one is probably not what you want to do. Maybe it's, on like two two or two three, but I don't know if you want to do it. Yeah, I mean, you have a shop equidistant here. This shop also isn't all that great. Um, I think keep the free stones. You have heal spell. Holster is and actually like a double nice gamble here, though. Because if you're checking these shops and it's nothing great, and your yep. opponent's doing good screen watching, they know that they don't yes. have to go there, so they're picking up more. Yes, totally agreed. Uh... I might hit peace. Switch off the war hammer. Yeah. yeah. Well, just to try to roll for Electro Dagger. Right. And it looks like that's what Good Sean's going to do. The war hammer. Yeah, he got it. And the, because the, the thing is, you know that the cat's there, right? I mean, you know that you have another option. Para might not have known if he's not uh, screen watching, but Sean knows. And so it's definitely the right call for him. Uh, well, Para, the electric day here, so that's good. <laughs> yep. Para also picked up a glass cat, which is a nice weapon, um, but probably not at the risk profile these guys want to be running. Although, you know what? This is an obsidian. Like, this is a promotion match into obsidian. I did like that switch off to get the one hit on uh, Deep Blue. That was really good. Oh, uh, para. Okay, fine. <laughs> Using that holster really well, actually. Mm hmm. He is. He's using that four damage in case we need it. I, I, para's decision making is totally baffling to me, but his, you know, play at the micro level is working pretty well. Other than the death. <laughs> I think there is a cheese in there. Yes, there is. Oh man, that blood cat with plus one though. Like that's pretty good too. Feeling comfortable with uh, the gold one. He is. I I'm not sure about it. Um... I mean, it's safe fish, but. It's not that quick. I mean, he lost a, he lost a one zone lead, running this. Um, right. So I I don't know I don't think it's working out. Granted, Sean rolled for an electro dagger, and that's why. But Para also could have rolled for that electro dagger. I mean, he has a holster. If he's screen watching, he knows the cat's there. Although I suspect that he's not screen watching. Ugh. This is kind of gross. Yeah, this second group's not great at all. 
Now that's a X1 shopping that makes sense. I think you take, yeah, the armor and the boots. But why do you want, Sean, why do you want your ballet shoes? You're not running obsidian. You gotta take glass slippers there, right? Am I going crazy? No. <laughs> I think it's more of the, the glass slippers are kind of weird to use sometimes too, because I kind of forget they're there because they only work on like such a whole. Yeah, um, that's absolutely like, true. You know, and stuff. Also, Sean just. Okay, yeah, good. I was like, Sean made a really awkward situation with that spider, but you can just hit something with the Electro Dagger. Now they are pretty much neck and neck. Sean had a bit of an awkward 4-2. Nice throw. Oh, that's great. People really should be integrating that often with daggers and very frequently don't. Oh, man, that that was that was great. The, uh, the teleport to the kill that blade master with the warlock. There's so many subtle things that can happen in this game with priority that, oh man, they're neck and neck. Yeah, they're real close. If Para wins this race, I will remove his thunk emoji. <laughs> because he's pushing against a better build, I think. A significantly better build with the pain. Yeah, you stayed on that Warhammer for the entire seat so far. Yeah, sometimes moving to the cat, um, but mostly the Warhammer. His map reads are are great. I think that's keeping him in it a lot. Since he is ahead, he does need to make them. Um, and he's coming up well. And I think Sean is mostly mapping off Para. Yep, nailed it again. I don't think that shields well timed but it's fine it's not that bad of an exit room he is the unfortunate sort of amount ahead right where it's very easy for sean to look over and see where you know where is he and where is the exit on on these floors although they're not exactly that hard of uh zone fives to read <laughs> yeah, that, that's the interesting rubber band effect of screen watching thing. Something you have to be conscious of if you're that far ahead. Yeah, good shield there to keep the Minotaur from keeping going. We got about a half four lead. Oh, but Para has bombs and Sean does not. I think this is a more than a half a four lead. Um, really like the switch for Para onto the cat. Like, it's yeah, super absolutely. You know, I think it actually worked out well, this this sort of switch, the holster. I, I, that holster that he got on 2-2 two, two in, in a shop check that I wouldn't have advised him to take, um, it really worked out well for him. Mostly, I just he's just re playing really well with the holster. It can be done. I, I think Para totally deserves to take crap for not taking that obsidian rapier. Maybe did he? Maybe he actually just did not see it. Um, but like, dude. But this is this is really good play this race. And I think it, you know this would have been a lot closer with bombs from Sean. Uh, and that's Software. it. Gee. Yeah, that was really impressive play, Kara. That is it. Loot right two. That is the set. Did you not see that? Did you actually not see that obsidian rapier? Or were you messing with us? 